good morning oh actually no there you go good afternoon hi how are you today I am Tess Crawley clinical psychologist and director of Dr Tess Crawley and Associates and I'm coming to you live from my very messy kitchen this morning um, I thought I would uh, have a little chat with you today about self-care because I have been having one of those mornings um, it started off with a rough start at school with a drop-off that didn't go to plan um, and left me feeling a little rattled. I had a meeting this morning which did go very well, which was a bit of a breath of fresh air, I must say. Uh, and then uh, I have been running around trying to do some work from home and trying to also juggle the mess that's around me in my house because like you, I'm a busy working mum and I don't always get everything done. And so I thought it would might actually be a bit um, refreshing, I suppose, to be a bit real with you today and say, you know what, some days are just really tough and you don't get all your tasks on your to-do list done. So today's one of those days for me. So I found myself halfway down the stairs, rushing off thinking I really need to go to the supermarket so that I can put my dirty dishes in the dishwasher. And then I realised, you know what, actually what I really need is a cup of tea and a sit down and catch my breath and just spend five minutes taking some time out for myself for a bit of self-care. As you can see, the dishes are still on the sink and nobody has died. So it doesn't matter if I don't go to the supermarket at this particular point in time. So self-care is something that psychologists are very good at lecturing others about. And we also need to give ourselves a good talking to sometimes about taking care of ourselves and taking that five minutes sometimes to just sit still and be quiet and have a cup of tea and focus focus on your breathing or focus on what you're doing focus on what you're reading even just focus on that cup of tea if that's what you need to take that time to just relax and find yourself again because sometimes we do get caught up in the busyness of life don't we I know that I do and I know that people that I talk to both um, within the practice so the other clinicians in my team uh, my clients I think we're all guilty sometimes of getting caught up in the busyness of life and constantly feeling like we're chasing our own tails so self-care is all about making sure you take the time when you need to to recharge your batteries because basically if you don't what happens if you run out of batteries run out of puff and you're no good to anybody so it's not about being selfish it's not about being lazy it's not about being um, shirking any responsibilities it's about saying hang on a minute I'm the only one who can make sure I stay on top of the things I need to stay on top of and so therefore I'm the only one who can make sure that my batteries get recharged from time to time so shock horror I've not worried about the dishwasher I'm not even worried about hand washing the dishes which of course I could do as well what I'm going to do is I'm about to make myself a very nice cup of coffee and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to um, look at what I need to do for the week ahead and I'm actually going to put a little bit of a plan in place so that I don't feel so scattered and disorganized make a couple of notes a couple of to-do lists see what I can get ticked off and you know what if everything doesn't get ticked off that list I think it'll still be okay so what I want you to do today is just take five minutes where you can find it to sit down with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just breathe in some sunshine if you can find any today um, and take five minutes to rest and recharge your batteries. If you're finding these little videos useful and helpful, please let me know. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts. I'd love to see your likes and your loves. And certainly if you feel that somebody else you know might benefit from these little videos, please do share them or tag a friend. Um, I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Remembering this is day two of my five day challenge. Uh, and I will um, see what mischief I can get myself into tomorrow to let you all in on have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.